Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Aquaba everybody, Karibu, my lovely turtles. How you be doing during these holidays? Did you have a good time? I hope you had a wonderful time with your families. And you had a good Christmas if you celebrated. And you also be having a happy new year. Child, we need it with all this uh, C19 and C19 mutation and so on. Hopefully, we are hoping for a better year for 2021. We got to be optimistic. All right. So, I'd just like to thank you first, all my turtles and my subscribers that's been rocking me since the beginning. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being a part. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for liking, for sharing, and for having discussions on my Instagram at the Barbie Girl and also in the comment section down below. If you're new, Aquaba, you welcome. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Also share and don't forget to comment because I enjoy positive. I enjoy critical criticism. All right. So I just wanted to come on here today. This was a little bit of housekeeping to talk about this uh, viral Karen uh, situation that happened since Saturday and it's been all over the news and I couldn't just ignore the whole situation because I feel concerned. So the whole situation went down with um, there was a black guy. He's an American jazz trumpeter. He's called Keon Herald. And it was at a hotel in Manhattan called the Soho Boutique Hotel, having brunch with his son, who's 14 years old. And come to find out that the son was um, falsely accused of stealing an iPhone by a Karen. That was the premise of the situation. So I want you to watch uh, the video of the situation and also after that, the video of uh, Kian Arrow when he explains the situation when he went on the Roland Martin show. Shout out to Roland Martin Unfiltered. I'm a fan of his show. I watch it all the time. And I hope that one day I'll be on a hey Roland, how you doing? If you're listening, please call me on your show. <laughs> oh, I'm just playing. Okay, watch this the next video and then I'll come back with the rest of my commentary. Thank you. Me, no. You don't have to explain nothing to her. Take the case off. That's mine. Literally, get it back. Please. Are you kidding me? You feel like there's only one one iPhone made in the world? No. Okay, then show me the. Show no, me my... you get get a life over yeah, there. No, What's on your last round? You better go use find find my iPhone. Go yeah, do that. Find my iPhone is on. On that. Right? No, no, you can't. No. Yes. I'm the manager yes. of the hotel. Yes. I don't yes. care. He will this right is my now. Son. Hey, Didn't you see me just come downstairs yeah, out of the man. fucking elevator? Yeah, I'm trying to help, man. No, but you're not helping. I what am. you've been is disrespectful. No, I'm trying to settle the no. situation. We, I'm, I'm I'm my son to has nothing to do with her. No. I'm trying to figure yeah, out what's going on in the world. Then show me the oh. proof. No, he's not leaving. Show me the proof. He, are you show me the proof. Already. You better get on. I need you away. Let's go, kid. I need you away. I'm sorry. Better get on. We have your, what you you see you see two black people. No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone. My son and I, you know, um, we stayed up late at night after Christmas, and we got up, and I was like, you know what, son, let's go get some brunch. Let's go downstairs and get some brunch. So we come downstairs in the elevator. Um, we make these two quick little right turns, and you're right in the lobby. The minute we got into the lobby. This person looked at us like like we were red and she was a bull. Like she looked at my son and she pointed at him and she said, he has my phone. It's him. He's got it. Give me give me my phone. And she went right to him. Um, and before that, I really couldn't believe it. Um, it was I mean, seriously, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was a joke. And then immediately um, my instinct said, you know, what? let me start recording because because some things just get out of hand really, really quickly. You just never know these days. So I started recording and and the, and the rest is what it is um you know so literally dealing with her telling you know they're wrongfully accusing my son he's 14 years old i mean that's that's that's, that's my boy my baby and you know literally treating him like he had no rights like they had all rights over him and i just wasn't okay with that at all i mean so you guys seen the video the first time i heard this story was on the Real Martin and Filtered show. But since then, it's been all over the news. It's all over YouTube. But I just wanted to give my take and my opinion on this situation. So first of all, this is not the first time that these are happening, particularly in America. 
And this Karen, they seems just to get away with it without having any legal action towards them. I mean, there has been a few of them who have lost their jobs, the ones that have been identified. But on the legal side, nothing's been happened. And they're causing some serious um, emotional and psychological damage to the people that they do that to. And in this case, it's a child. It's a 14-year-old boy that is going to be scarred for the rest of his life and being accused of something wrongly accused and um racially profiled for something that it didn't do and it's just wrong at all levels so i am even petrified to think what would have happened if his dad wasn't there or let me guess we all know what would have happened he would have been shot wrongfully shot wrongfully killed maybe wrongfully imprisoned i mean everything just wrongfully could have happened right there we just don't know where to feel safe how to feel safe anymore and just from the beginning of his explanation, of Kian's explanation, when he mentioned that just for them entering the area of the, the brunch area of the hotel and they gotten those looks by that woman. I mean, thank God he was prompted to put his camera on to show evidence of what was happening. It's almost as like she didn't want them to be there because of the color of their skin. I mean, he can afford to be there. He can pay for the services that the hotel is provided. So why shouldn't it be there? There's almost an assumption that black people cannot be in certain areas because we cannot afford it. Like black people cannot afford to have certain expensive items like an iPhone. So straight away, the sun has to be uh, labeled a thief when it's completely wrong. So I am not surprised at the reaction that the dad had. Because he has to protect his son. He has to protect his son's dignity. And particularly it was wrong. And I think at the beginning he was understanding. Trying to help her to find her phone. By is it to put on that. Um, my iPhone users out there help me out. Because I don't use iPhone. I'm an Android girl. That that option that you trigger on your phone. For you to kind of like ping it. So he offered to do that. And she was just very dismissive. I said who are you for the boy to give you his phone like you know authority like that's just show right there white supremacy and white ignorance and i think these days are long gone and they are long past like black people we are not subhumans we are not superhumans we are humans just as much as you and we have the right to be treated as such we have the right to have like he says a full intact dignity not a half one that you know, that we should be happy with because it's like, okay, you can have this is given to her, so that should be good enough. No, it's just not good enough. Oh, okay. Anyway, that's my opinion on the whole thing. If that was me, I would have done the same thing, if not worse. And I'm glad that the family is suing. They're not just suing the... Um, as far as I heard, they are suing the woman who was it to be identified. I hope they will also sue the hotel. Because if that's me, I would have as well sued the hotel. Because I think they deserve to be sued for the behavior that the manager had. Because the manager automatically, you can see on the video, is automatically siding with that Karen. He's not trying to de-escalate the situation, assert the fact, and being on the, on the, on the right side. But straight away, he assumes, okay, she white, they're black, so she must be right wrong answer so i haven't heard anything about them suing the soho boutique hotel yeah you hear that place and but on the contrary i've heard that they'll be pursuing legal action against the karen which i'm have very happy about very delighted extremely ecstatic they should really make an example out of her because we need more laws and also harsher punishment for people like that that feel so entitled and so bold and so you know and falsely encouraged to walk towards somebody who's black and ask them all these requirements and i think this is okay all right so he be seeking his legal action with civil rights attorney ben crump as you've seen and uh, if you don't know who Ben Crump is and you've heard his name, it's because he's been familiar with cases like George Floyd and also Breonna Taylor. And Keon Arrows, I have to mention, is a bona fide American jazz trumpeter. So he's been all over the world and he's, he's uh, 
work with people like Rihanna, Beyonce, and Jay Z. So he, he he said it himself with his with he, with the mother of his child, who's called Catherine Rodriguez, that if they didn't have the level of I don't know quote unquote a uh, celebrity status or success that they've achieved within their life and if they didn't record it seemed as though this story would have gone nowhere it just would have been swept under the carpet nobody would have known about it and it's just really wrong and extremely sad that this is the society that we live in i thank god he was able to record and he was able actually to press charges to actually do it because there are so many people in the situation that have been wronged <clears throat> then they don't sue and i think most of the time it's because of financial situation but this is just you know it's so wrong and on so many levels right and uh he's done an interview recently where he was also supported with reverend al sharpton so the other fact as well why the hotel i think should be sued is because they allowed for that woman to leave before the police arrived there and the mom as well complained about that <clears throat> when she mentioned in the interview that that woman should be sued for assault right so so far the legal charges that we heard that been brought forward is by the state of new york who is investigating um is investigating this as a complaint for harassment which which is the official um complaint that has been filed so far but i think this is too light for a first filing i'm not a lawyer out there I'm not the one law all the laws from new york but looking at the situation i just think something like uh racial discrimination or wrongful racial uh profiling should be filed not complain of harassment that is not specific enough and it doesn't hold that much weight it's not that heavy i think so to add insult to injury like he explained in the video, the woman actually did recover a phone. And actually, a phone was left in a, a taxi company. I don't know if it was Uber or Lyft, one of those. But she actually did get a phone back. But no apology, something that a decent human being should do, was offered to, to Keon, Harold, and his son. None from the woman and none from the hotel. And now the hotel issued a mishmash mosh um statement which is in a cnn article that we link down below in the description box saying that well the you know the mishmash move they're appalled by this and that they're gonna try to work with i mean this is late this is too little too late right there and there where she would have gotten the phone they should have made her come to apologize to them to the family for the trauma that she caused to that boy and the hotel as well should have been more accommodating if that was me, I would have left the hotel right there and then and I would have requested a refund because I can't be spending my money, especially when it sounds like it's a lot of money in this hotel and get the treatment that I'm receiving. It's just ludicrous. Anyway, I'm going to stop my renting. I don't want to be here for too long. So I just hope that the family get the outcomes that they're actually looking for because it will set an example not only for us black people but also for the other karens out there that want to try it and cnn in the fairness they've also reached to the woman she refused to show her face to do any interview like showing her face but she had a 20 minute phone calls with them where she was giving a side of the story and basically saying that she's wrongfully accused and that she's also saying that she was assaulted so when cnn asked for more evidence to provide evidence to back up her story because she said she had some then she went cold turkey so she stopped talking to cnn she hasn't replied to the text and she hasn't replied to their messages so that shows a character right there that actually to me reveals who's lying and who's telling the truth but i don't need her account to see that i can clearly see on the video who is doing what to who okay so i really hope the family get the outcome that they're looking for it's going to be a great story to follow. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. And if I get an update, I'm going to share it with you guys. So let me know what you think about this story. Let me know what you would have done in this situation. Don't forget to hit like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell too. I wish you and everybody, all of you, a happy new year 2021. You got to be optimistic. That is going to be a great year for everybody. Bonne et heureuse année 2021. I love you, my turtles. Till next year. Bye.